Please subscribe to my channel. Audio novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. I do not translate the novels. Credits goes to original translator and author of the novel. I only make it as an audio book. So it would be easy to just listen while doing other things. If you like my work, please consider buying me coffee at ko-fi.com slash audio novels, the link is on description. Thank you thank you and thank you very much for your support, it really makes a difference. Chapter 411, The Only Opponent, Sitting in the Chair, Liu Feng poured himself a cup of tea, as it flowed into the cup, a thought occurred to him, Babatu is right, my current strength is far from that of an absolute genius, if I want to make it into the universe top 1000, it is indeed hard, my skills, control of spirit weapon, battle experience, amplifier and mental state, these may all be not bad, however, compared to all the geniuses of the entire universe, it definitely aimed at the top, a few powerful warriors, like my teacher or the Liuo, towards the later stages in life have all created their own secret techniques, of course no matter what I do, I have to do it step by step, I first have to learn the techniques created by others first before slowly creating my own, and the current me dot I've just begun, in a group of sheep, even if I become the strongest, I'd still only be a stronger sheep, and compared to a group of lions, even if I'm not the strongest, I'd still be an intrepid lion, to improve, I have to get into the core of the virtual universe company, I am weak, but the main reason is because my training time is too short, this genius battle stretches on for quite some time, I still have time to get stronger, Liuo Feng pondered, his eyebrows creased, the leviathan of the human universe, the virtual universe company's core, it only absorbs 1000 geniuses every 10,000 years, after generations, there should be millions of geniuses within, and after countless years of toil, the number of undying within would far exceed that of the Gandwu universe country, within there, that was where the true outstanding and pinnacle of strengths were, if I want to compete, I have to compete with the strongest, my training time is short, but, as time goes on, I will be able to catch up to them, hard work, hard work, right now the first goal is to get into the 1000 slots of the Gandwu universe country internal name list, Liu Feng made the decision without discussing more with Babata, growing up, Liu Feng had never admitted defeat before, even against the incomparably powerful and seemingly invincible golden horned beast before, Liu Feng never stepped back, if it was said that his younger brother Liu Hu enjoyed the battle in the universe financial market, every time going into compete and slaughter, earning and making fortunes, then Liu Feng enjoyed chasing after the pinnacle of life itself, constantly breaking through and improving himself time and again, defeating the opponents one by one, even with difficulty, setbacks, competition and opponents, he had no fear, the only fear would be that of no difficulty at all, when that day finally arrives where he stands at the peak, without any opponents, he would fear the loneliness, the strong are lonely, on earth Liuo Feng had tasted that feeling, he didn't like the feeling of loneliness, I'll push myself and give it a shot, we'll see just how far I, Liuo Feng can push to, Liuo Feng's eyes gleamed, it was a light of anticipation of his path of the strong, the arena wars lasted for a total of 5 days, when it ended, the 10,000 participants that made it through had one day of rest, and within that one day dot the organizing party the virtual universe company also gave out information on the upcoming battles and informed every participant, dot, China time year 2066, July 22nd, night, virtual universe black dragon mountain island, 9 star bay district, Liuo Feng's living room, Liuo Feng, Hong and Thunder God were gathered there with 10 other people, how are the arena fights going to be distributed, brother in law, who are you fighting against in the first match, only 900 slots, yet 10,000 people are competing, how do you even compete, a group of people were discussing, quiet, Liuo Feng pointed to midair, immediately a screen appeared above the dining table, on it were a blur of words with descriptions, 
This is the list for the 10,000 participants of the arena fights. Ah, the words are too small. The whole family ran over to take a closer look. Enlarge it. Luo Feng pointed at the corner of the screen and immediately a portion of the screen began to enlarge. There was Luo Feng's name there. Big brother, you are up against Sei Wallo first. After winning that, you'll battle against the winner of the next group. Luo Hu examined it carefully. Right. Luo Feng nodded, looking at the people who surrounded him. Among them were his brother-in-law Xagang and others, even Hong and his children and families, Thunder God's daughter and his own family. With a large group of people together, it was indeed bustling. This arena battle, the process itself is very simple. 1v1, the winner will advance while the loser will enter the loser's circle. These 10,000 people will be split into a total of 5,000 groups, of which after the first battle, there will be 5,000 winners and 5,000 losers. The 5,000 winners will continue to fight it out and after the second battle, there will remain 2,500 winners. Moving on, after the third battle, there will remain 1,250 winners. After the fourth, There'll only be 625 winners left. After the fourth battle, the 625 winners will immediately take up 625 slots of the name list. Luo Feng said. The rules were simple. 1v1, they only need to fight for battles. And there'll be 625 left. I say, my brother-in-law, within these 900 slots, after taking out the 625, wouldn't that only leave 275 slots? Xagang said curiously, beside him Luo Hua laughed, Xagang, didn't you realize from what my brother said before dot the losers enter a losers circle, I estimate the remaining 275 slots will come from there. Thunder God laughed, right? Luo Hu is smart. One has to know that the victor of a 1v1 battle is usually decided very quickly. However there's a huge loophole, that is dot there might very likely be two absolute warriors battling against each other, and one of them will end up getting eliminated. This loophole results in the company very easily eliminating a true genius. Right. Luo Feng nodded, hence the loser's circle. From the 10,000 people, there will be 625 winners and the loser's circle will have 9,375 people. These 9,375 will engage in a cruel and long competition, which will finally result in the final 275 being picking out. Luo Feng said, Cruel and long competition? Why cruel? Long? How long? A group of people turned to Luo Feng. This competition is for the loser's circle of 9,375 people. Every person has to battle with the other 9,374 others in 1v1 matches. Meaning dot the loser's circle. Every 9,375 of them has to battle 9,374 times. Winning a match gains one point. Should both parties die together in a draw, that would mean zero points. Finally, it will go by how high the points a person has. The top 275 will get into the final 275 slots. Luo Feng said, My god, Xagang stared wide-eyed. Wow! Little Hai exclaimed, 9374 matches. When will this battle end? Right? Just how much time is spent on this? With these over 9,000 matches, it will definitely take forever. A group of them all sighed. One must know that in life or death battles, to battle continuously, one's entire mental state, spirit and strength would be fatigued and focus would drop. Hence even though each battle time was short, it was still impossible to hold multiple matches a day. What the Virtual Universe Company announced was that this competition itself will probably go on for close to three years, as each person will battle ten matches a day. Luo Feng said, the entire genius battle dot from the initial world elimination battle of the Gandwu Universe Country, the longest time consuming item is this, close to three years, that's long dot. The arena fights were very quick. Every battle eliminated half of its people, requiring only four successive wins to get a slot. On a balcony in Liu Feng's villa in Nine Star Bay District, 
Late night, Liu Feng, Hong and Thunder God sat by a round table. Third brother, your situation isn't looking good, Hong emphasized. Among these 10,000 participants, there's a total of 521 who've stepped through the gateway of the origin laws, and from four matches they will pick the final 625. Theoretically speaking, these 521 should all get a slot, Thunder God muttered, however, I don't know just how this virtual universe company distributed the teams. They actually let origin lord geniuses meet each other, right? Even though according to the footage of the arena wars before, they concluded that there was a total of 521 who've stepped through the origin laws gateway. If they distributed it properly. The virtual universe company could have left these 521 not ever meet and get a slot. However, the virtual universe company didn't do it that way. A large portion of these origin laws geniuses didn't have to ever meet in their four matches, but a small group of them, close to 100 of them did have to meet each other. Like Liu Feng himself, according to the distribution, for his first, second and third battles, he had a certain guarantee to win. However the fourth match. According to his list, as long as that origin lord genius didn't lose along the way, then his fourth opponent would be another who had stepped through the gateway. His name was Rong Jun. His nickname was Savage. Savage Rong Jun. Back then he was the absolute warrior that killed his second brother Thunder God a powerful being that massacred his arena wars group. According to this distribution, there'll be close to 100 origin law warriors who will meet in the fourth match. Hong nodded, and these close to 100 people were the topmost intrepid performers of the arena wars, whether it was Savage Rong Jun or Madman Liu Feng, they were the most powerful and massacred their arena wars group. They were just invincible. In terms of strength, this close to 100 people, should belong to the upper echelon of the strong, Hong emphasized, right now the virtual universe company is obviously wanting them to meet to test them out, after all, the loser still has a chance in the loser's circle, in the circle, there will be less than 50 origin law warriors, and there are 275 slots for the loser's circle, these origin law warriors, even if they lose their fourth match, through the loser's circle, they can still get a slot. From the Virtual Universe Company's point of view, it's probably to test this group of geniuses. The most elite meeting one another and engaging in 9374 matches thereafter. This is probably one of the best training for these people, Hong said. Liu Feng and Thunder God both nodded. Makes sense. The Virtual Universe Company organized this to pick out the most pinnacle of geniuses. Hence making them fight against each other and picking out the most exceptional was a very normal circumstance. Third brother, Hong emphasized as he looked at Liu Feng, the first to third battles, you shouldn't have any trouble, right now your only opponent is the fourth match where you'll meet Savage Rong Jun, I've seen his strength personally, it's extremely terrifying, much stronger than your group's Pushkin, I've exchanged blows with him, he finished me in one shot, Thunder God said, he is very strong, especially his slice down from his blade. It feels extremely heavy. I know. Liu Feng nodded. If he wanted to get a slot in that name list early, he would have to defeat Savage. And from that Savage's arena war battle, he had watched as a spectator. It was indeed terrifying. Who asked you to perform so fearlessly? Thunder God laughed. It's because your performance was too strong and you killed the other geniuses like they were dogs. The Virtual Universe Company values you. Hence. They arranged Savage to battle you, letting the two strongest fight it out. Chapter 412, Successive Victories China Year 2066, July 23rd Virtual Universe, in the space that belonged to the Hugh Jacks Dojo, on island number 29904, the arena duels were about to begin. Attention all! Standing in the center of the arena right now is the genius from the Dragon Horn Starfield, Say I Wallow. Following the loud announcement throughout the entire arena, the audience immediately erupted in a wave of cheers and draws. The over 100 million spectators from the Dragon Horn Starfield were incomparably excited, 
all shouting as loud as they could, say I wallow, say I wallow, you are the strongest, over 100 million excited cheers could be heard, the two sides, from two different star fields, were both given 100 million tickets, hence today's match had 1 billion spectators, of which 200 million were separately from the Black Dragon Mountain star field and the Dragon Horn star field. The next to take the stage is the one you've all been waiting for. From the Black Dragon Mountain Empire. An absolute genius, Liu Feng. The commentator's voice was even louder than the first time, obviously, the commentator was a little more biased towards Liu Feng. Liu Feng, Liu Feng, Liu Feng. It wasn't just the Black Dragon Mountain Empire's over 100 million people cheering loudly. More than half the people from the other 800 million from the other star fields in the Ganwu Universe Country 2 were cheering his name, even though both had made it through the arena wars. Obviously Liu Feng who had dominated his group dot had won over the support from many in the Ganwu Universe Country. While a trillion eyes were watching him, Liu Feng followed the same pathway and walked into the center of the arena. The cheers got even louder, countless human ladies of different races all shouted and screeched, some even fainting. The 100% virtual simulation had such an effect, even bodily functions were simulated. There were two youths standing in the arena, one with a dark golden long rod and dressed in dark grey armor, the black-haired youth Liu Feng, the other who was standing on a large board, smiling and with a gentle aura, say I wallow, Liu Feng. All the best, say I Wallow bowed respectfully, displaying his manners. Liu Feng just stood there, completely immersed in his mental state, like a volcano, without any reaction at all. He didn't know why, even though say I Wallow before him seemed very courteous, it gave him an outrageous sense of discomfort. As for why he had that feeling, he couldn't explain it. You too, at all. Sturdy and handsome commentator smiled, this will be very similar to the arena wars. As the battle progresses, the space you have will continue to shrink. It'll only require 5 minutes before the entire space will shrink down to only a diameter of 1 meter. Hence your battle will at most last 5 minutes. Thanks. Say I Wallow smiled and looked at the commentator. Liu Feng only made a noise to reply. All right. Let the battle dot begin. The commentator smiled. The moment he said begin, his entire being vanished, leaving only the two participants. Su, say I Wallow stood on his huge board, swiftly flying into the distance, as quick as lightning. Escaping, Liu Feng creased his eyebrows, the soaring shuttle immediately became a beam of golden light. Obviously faster than say I wallow before. The original size of the arena was a diameter of 30 kilometers. As time passed, it shrank more and more. With Liu Feng and say I wallow's speed, in the blink of an eye they were already at the edges of the space. Now's the time. Say I wallow could feel their distance closing. He suddenly turned and simultaneously Liu Feng who was rushing over decreased his speed as they grew dangerously close. Say I Wallow's eyes had a gleam of madness. Go, kill him. The huge board beneath his feet shot out a silver light. This light wrapped itself around his green energy flow around. It moved autonomously and separated into nine silver arrows, shooting at Liu Feng at the same time. Xiu, 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 nine silver arrows. It was like nine shooting stars shooting suddenly and swiftly at Liu Feng. Even though the Nanshin armament is powerful, it does have its weaknesses. Say I Wallow's eyes were filled with a strong anticipation, one for victory, that is its defense, its weakness is its defense. Your power is only so much and you dare split it into nine? Liu Feng snorted coldly. And you really think I have no methods for defend myself? Liu Feng's thoughts moved. The soaring shuttle below him immediately shot out beams of light, swiftly forming 16 peculiar shields surrounding him. These 16 shields had golden threads weaving through them. The surface of the shields, eight of which were facing outside while the other eight were facing inwards, revolving both internally and externally. The speed was swift as all of them were infused with some origin laws. This move dot the sword array. The soaring shuttle's second form, its defensive form, 
the sword array. There were a total of three forms for the soaring shuttle. The first offensive form was the mountain bulwark. The defensive form was the mountain bulwark shield. The second form's offense was the golden sword fish. The defensive form was the sword array. As for the third form, one had to reach the universe level to use it. Hence the current Liu Feng could only use the swordfish formation along with the sword array. The eight shields floated about his surroundings. The other eight formed an outer layer, inside and outside, covered with shields which revolved about and moved up and down, with golden light connecting them. An outrageous energy emanated from it. Infused with Liu Feng's comprehension of the golden origin laws, its defense was simply perfect. The nine silver arrows shot over and the sixteen shields slightly altered its speed, leaving no openings at all. Dang, dang dang. Clashes could be heard. The power of the nine silver arrows wasn't strong in the first place. It couldn't even move the sixteen shields defense. Dot. Actually, normal spirit weapons weren't like the soaring shuttle, which had many formations and uses. Under normal circumstances, the stronger one's spirit reading power was, the more focused the weapon would be. A pure attacking spirit weapon, a pure defensive one, a pure flying one. Gold represented strength and piercing power of the sun. This Nanshin armament was a purely offensive spirit weapon, extremely tyrannical. Offense. When it is condensed, it's very powerful, when it is separated it gets weaker. And this Sei Wallo knew that if he did not risk it all he couldn't kill Liu Feng. Hence he gambled on Liu Feng not having a form of defense with his spirit weapons. Hence he controlled the nine silver arrows. By dispersing his spirit energy through these nine arrows, it made his energy and power divide by nine, making the power and strength drop. He was gambling it all on this one attack chance. Against the nine silver arrows, Liu Feng using his Nanshin armament could at most block two or three of them, that way, Sei I Walla would have a chance of victory. A pity. Liu Feng had a defensive spirit weapon. It was the Soaring Shuttle. The Soaring Shuttle had flying and defensive capabilities along with offensive powers too. Because Liu Feng had trained rigorously and studied it, using the Soaring Shuttle's defensive form the Sword Array, was the best option and choice. Maybe there were better defensive spirit weapons. But Liu Feng didn't have the time to study them. It's over. Say I Wallow's expression changed. Kai. The golden long rod became a golden rainbow and pierced right through his spirit weapon and straight through his forehead. First battle. Liu Feng was victorious. Second battle. Liu Feng. I know I'm not your match. But I dot still want to compete with my all. Liu Feng's second opponent admitted it the moment he stepped on the arena, that he wasn't a match for him. Very quickly. Second battle, Liu Feng won easily. Dot. Third battle. The third opponent's strength was very strong, comparable to Pushkin. Especially the strength of the huge axe he used was shocking. However, against the nine silver arrows from before, Liu Feng's Nanshin armament couldn't fight it all. However against this huge axe, Liu Feng easily controlled the golden rainbow to fight force with force. By using the soaring shuttle he stood at a distance and controlled it from afar. After six continuous attacks, that huge axe wielding tall and sturdy man's arms were ripped and broken with blood spewing from his mouth, without any strength left in his arms to defend. The third battle, Liu Feng won again. Three battles, three victories. Black Dragon Mountain Island 9 Star Bay District, Liu Feng's home entrance. Liu Feng sat face to face with the silver haired old man Budu Asuka. You have achieved three victories in three battles. Right now, the entire Black Dragon Mountain Island is filled with discussions about you. The silver haired old man laughed. Within this virtual universe network, Many entertainment programs and newscasts are all keeping an eye on you. Liu Feng laughed. Even while sitting at home, they could hear the people's cheers from the bars outside. These were all from the victories of Liu Feng. Due to these victories, there were large drunken celebrations all over. Lord Budu Asuka, I'm pretty sure you came here not just to tell me these. Liu Feng smiled as he looked at the silver-haired old man. I bring word from his majesty. The silver-haired old man looked at Liu Feng, 
in tomorrow's fourth match, as long as you win, you will receive a slot. His Majesty is hoping that you will prepare well and not get careless. After all, your opponent is very strong. I know. Liu Feng nodded, an image of his opponent appeared in his mind. That messy haired barefooted savage youth. Defeat him. Liu Feng thought within. Dot. Gandwu Universe Country, within a vast starfield, a D6 disc shaped universe ship was stopped on the moon of a mineral planet, within one of its resting rooms. A barefooted, messy haired three meter tall man, carrying two short blades, sat cross legged on the alloy surface ground within the room. He looked up, a photo hung on the wall. It was a black scruffy looking punk with arms around the shoulders of a tall and sturdy man. Father. This savage youth, was quietly looking at the photo, muttering, even though you aren't my birth father, however. The savage youth gritted his teeth, saying softly, I, to man, swear dot I will definitely, definitely kill that bastard. Definitely. His eyes were filled with a bone chilling gleam, almost like a hungry mad lone wolf. He is an undying. He is the emperor that built an empire. However I will definitely dot I will definitely kill him. Father, just watch dot I will rush into the top 1000 in this genius battle and enter the virtual universe company. Even becoming the strongest within my generation in the virtual universe company. Savage said softly, and on the day I kill him, it will be the day I will regain the name to man. Chapter 413, The Strong Clash. It's Madman. That Madman has come, quickly flee. Kai, the black haired youth in the dark grey armor walked coldly down the alley. A golden swordfish recklessly slaughtered a group of geniuses, their bodies flew about fresh blood staining the silent alley. The elimination stage footage of Liu Feng slaughtering were continuously played. Him, the absolute genius that has struck fear among countless geniuses, so much so they call him Madman. Liu Feng. He had been hiding his strength all the while and only unleashing his true weapon the Nanshan armament in the arena wars and winning every battle. Only one word could describe him, invincible. Dot. Savage, I admit I'm not your match, I don't wish to battle against you, even if you don't wish to, you still have to. A thick powerful voice resounded, that barefooted, three meters tall savage immediately closed the distance between them. The blade in his hand seemed light as he swung it, the blow however seemed to conceal the weight of heavy mountains behind it, immediately blowing away the opponent's defense and killing him on the spot. The savage wrong June's every slaughter scene too was constantly broadcasted. Him, relying just on his strength, has caused countless warriors to tremble. The one called Savage. Wrong June, from the elimination stage to the arena wars, wielding the battle knife, killing all targets. Till now there hasn't been anyone capable of resisting him. The two of them, Madman Liu Feng and Savage Rong Jun. In this fourth round of the arena duels will engage in a much anticipated fight on island number 0001. One madman, one savage. Who's stronger? Will it be madman continue his winning streak or will savage kill this madman? Everything will be decided then. The highly anticipated match of the fourth round, the two pinnacle geniuses fight. A broadcast of about 15 minutes long appeared at the top of the Virtual Universe Company's Ganwu station page. Only the Virtual Universe Company would have been able to get such footage from that first round. The moment that broadcast came out, it immediately resulted in countless in the Ganwu universe downloading it and swiftly spreading it throughout the universe country. Eruption. Countless people from the Gandwu universe country rushed and fought to buy tickets for the battle. Even though the fourth round of the arena duels had many matchups, the one that people were truly waiting to watch was this 49th match. This 49th match was a battle between geniuses who had stepped through the gateway of the origin laws. In terms of power, the Madman Liu Feng and the Savage Rong Jun were both well known. 
their battle was arranged to be on island number 0001. The ticket prices were extremely expensive too. However, the number of people who were actually trying to buy these tickets was an enormous number as well. Especially since that special broadcast was released. The names Madman and Savage spread immediately throughout the trillion galaxies. This video had made countless people anticipate the battle. The time had finally come, China time year 2066. July 26th, within the virtual universe where the huge Jack Stojo had opened a space, island number 0001, a battle between absolute pinnacle warriors was about to happen. The participants were Madman Liu Feng and Savage Rong Jun. Madman, Savage, Liu Feng, Rong Jun. The entire dojo's 1 billion seats were filled to the brim. The battle hadn't even begun but the footage broadcasted on a big screen in the center of the arena had already caused the countless spectators to cheer and roar for the warriors they supported, especially the Black Dragon Mountain Empire and the Golden Sword Empire. The spectators from these empires were shouting with pride for their own empire. Simultaneously, within the preparation room, Liu Feng was again wearing the dark gray armor and carrying a dark golden long rod. There were only two seats in this preparation room. A passionate staffer appeared beside and pointed at a seat as he spoke, Mr. Liu Feng, please rest here. The battle is about to begin soon. Liu Feng nodded and walked towards the seat and sat down. In his ears, he clearly heard the roars and cheers that resembled an army. Who? A human silhouette appeared. Liu Feng opened his eyes to look. It was a tall and sturdy, still barefooted, messy haired man. However, just from him standing there, he gave off a formless energy and strength. It was almost as though he was the heavens and land itself, and this natural abundance of power and energy made Liu Feng crease his eyebrows. When I saw him before, it was from a distance in the arena, and from footage. I didn't expect that within his person, the energy and aura is that strong. That strength itself directly affects his character. Living beings adore us. If one's aura became incomparably strong, it would make others detect it easily, and it was strong enough to be called energy. Energy, this was a very broad term. For example, the normal people on Earth with their thin and frail bodies. If they met a tall and sturdy and intimidating bandit, they could feel the pressure the enemy brought. Strong willpower, solid determination, strength, etc. All this contribute to the energy. Like Liu Feng, if the current him were to quietly train in the wilderness of earth, he would naturally emit an oppressing willpower. No matter how powerful the beasts were, they wouldn't dare approach him. Mr. Rong Jun, please rest here. The battle is about to begin. The staff quickly received him. The savage youth sat directly opposite Liu Feng. The two faced each other sitting. The savage youth's tiger-like eyes stared. It almost seemed like two beams of lightning were shooting out, making others not dare to make eye contact. Liu Feng however sat there like a dead volcano, silent, cold emanating killing intent. This made it hard for others to even touch him. You are Liu Feng, Madman Liu Feng. The savage youth's voice was thick and powerful. With his eyes shut and silently seating, Liu Feng suddenly opened his eyes and looked at Savage. If anyone compared Liu Feng's appearance to the golden horned beast, they would realize their eyes and gaze were almost identical, cold yet filled with killing intent. The savage youth felt shock within. This madman, his killing intent is heavy. Something the matter? Liu Feng spoke. Yes. Savage nodded, his eyes staring at Liu Feng. The loser's circle matches, I'm very interested in the 9374 matches. This sort of high density matches will be useful to my training. I will definitely go participate. Liu Feng creased his eyebrows. This savage Rong Jun just said he wanted to take part in the losers' circle matches. What did he mean? You are admitting defeat. Liu Feng looked at Savage. No. Savage stared at Liu Feng. I've never had the mindset of admitting defeat. However, I will first defeat you. Then I will commit suicide and go participate in the losers' circle matches. Defeat me then suicide. Liu Feng squinted his eyes. To obtain a slot in the name list is not difficult for me at all. Savage curled his lips, giving off a powerful battle aura. I require battle, many many battles. Constantly training myself, 
and improving. Hence Liu Feng, I hope you don't disappoint me. Don't let me defeat you in an instant. Within the preparation room, Liu Feng closed his eyes and said coldly, relax, I will kill you directly, and send you to the loser's circle. Ah? I'm looking forward to it. Savage smiled, with his eyes shut and hearing these words, Liu Feng too revealed a smile. Just from a few simple words, Liuo Feng and Rong Jun already had a good feeling of their opponents. They were two people who were similar. They had absolute confidence in themselves, never admitting defeat and indomitable in spirit. Battle, battle. Liuo Feng and Rong Jun both felt each other's powerful fighting spirit and their absolute confidence. Mr. Liuo Feng, Mr. Rong Jun, please head to the alley to prepare. The battle is about to begin. The staffer came over and spoke carefully. Liuo Feng and Savage stood at the same time. They exchanged glances, feeling each other's fighting spirit from within, following which they both headed directly to the alley. The entire arena was completely full. The people were like the ocean. All races of humans from the trillion galaxies were all cheering loudly. From the Black Dragon Mountain Empire, the Madman Liuo Feng. From the Golden Sword Empire, the Savage Rong Jun, the two of them are walking out now. The commentator was a man, his voice extremely loud. Madman, Madman, Savage, Savage. The spectators from the hundreds of millions of galaxies were incomparably excited. Compared to their actual names, their nicknames were actually much more accepted throughout. Within the arena, Liuo Feng and Rong Jun faced off. The both of you should already know the arena duel rules. The commentator faced the two of them. This battle will determine who gets the slot on the name list. The winner between you two will get a slot, while the loser will have to fight in the loser's circle, engaging in a long tedious amount of battles. The two of you should understand already, then right now, let the battle dot begin. With that shout. The sound reverberated throughout the entire dojo. The commentator immediately vanished and the one billion spectators suddenly became silent. Everyone stared at the large arena which contained the only two participants in the center. Dot. The moment they heard the word begin, the two who had been suppressing themselves immediately exploded and unleashed their energies and auras simultaneously. The strong usually had to suppress their energies. Just like how Liuo Feng could not randomly explode and release his energies in presence of his family. As for someone like a Sector Lord to suppress his powers, even after suppression, with one look anyone could tell that his gaze gave of an extremely strong willpower, causing normal star level warriors souls to not be able to withstand it and crumble. Battle. The first fight was between beliefs and willpower, using strong auras and energies to pressure and cause fear in the opponent, affecting their state of mind. This was naturally beneficial to one in battle. Whether it was Rong Jun or Liu Feng, they had never met such a powerful opponent before. Hence, the two of them simultaneously released their energies, wanting to use it to affect their opponent's mental state and to cause fear and doubt within him. Only with that sort of mental state, would the opponent's strength potentially be reduced to only 60 or 70 percent of their full powers. Hong, Liuo Feng's eyes became ice cold. A formless heart palpitating killing intent spread throughout dot infused with Liuo Feng's willpower and energy, immediately rushing at the opponent. A power that made people get distracted. Liuo Feng was almost like a cold slaughtering absolute beast standing upright and surveying the enemy, ha ha ha, Savage let out a carefree laughter, beneath his messy hair, his godlike eyes were locked on Liuo Feng, Liuo Feng, let's battle, battle, an incomparably strong killing intent and energy immediately spread from him, a powerful fighting spirit infused with Savage's willpower, incomparably solid, immovable, the auras clashed, the willpower and energies clashed, feeling each other's strength, rumble, rumble, beams of glaring and razor sharp golden energy flowed out, beams of heavy mountain like ground yellow energy flowed and these energies covered both Liuo Feng and Rong Jun, circling them as the centers, chapter 414, madness, savagery, battle, battle, savage was like a war god from the universe, roaring and his eyes were gleaming red, under the opponent's influence, 
Liu Feng's eyes were completely ice cold. His entire demeanor was like a beast being suppressed. Glang, brandishing of blades. Savage was barefooted. Every step he took had the strength and weight of 10 million kg. Even the arena with its diameter of 10 kilometers trembled as he took his steps. With just two steps, the tall and sturdy savage had already reached right before Liu Feng and that blade infused with ground yellow energy sliced straight at him. Stepping on the soaring shuttle, Liu Feng fiercely retreated, his eyes staring hard, gritting his teeth, he squeezed out the words, kill, Xu. a golden light shot out from the dark golden long rod on his back, the nine golden blades with complex engravings on them swiftly moved, threads of gold weaved through the entire body, swiftly forming a golden blade, compared to the blade from two months ago during the elimination round, the current golden blade Liu Feng had formed was much more stable and formidable. Rumble. A golden rainbow shot towards Savage. Break. Savage's expression struggled. He roared softly while brutally slicing straight at the golden rainbow. Under the pressure of his yellow energy flow, along with Liu Feng's eyes gleaming ice cold, the golden rainbow almost seemingly wanted to dodge this blade. Dang. Even though it seemed like it was about to dodge it, that blade seemed to move a few inches and directly sliced that golden rainbow, causing it to be smashed away. The entire golden blade trembled for a bit, almost as though it was about to fall apart. Savage couldn't help but take a few steps back too. His grip on the blade too seemed to have weakened. Big brother and second brother were right. This punk's attack is extremely heavy. There hasn't been anyone so far who was able to almost break apart my golden blade with just one slice. From far in midair while controlling the golden blade, Liu Feng's expression changed slightly. Gold, as strong and piercing as the sun, Savage stuck out his tongue and licked his thick lips, following which he violently roared, as though he was extremely excited. Savage, Savage, the one billion spectators and the countless people were caught up in the moment all roaring with all their might, within the arena, go and die, Liu Feng was still cold and not affected at all, as he coldly snorted, immediately the golden blade floated again and accelerated, becoming a golden rainbow and rushing towards Savage, Savage let out another roar and rushed straight towards it, his pace fluctuated, his silhouette became peculiar, dodging time and again, it was completely erratic, swiftly closing in on Liu Feng, no matter what, I cannot let him get close, Liu Feng stood on the soaring shuttle and increased the distance between them, the golden rainbow once again rushed straight at Savage, dang, 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 clashing with him time and again, almost like moving the ground and shaking the mountains, however, Savage seemed to be borrowing the energy from the clashes to change his direction and swiftly closing in on Liu Feng. One had to know that at his level, one flash was a few hundred meters to kilometers of distance, and Liu Feng couldn't go too far, since with too much distance it would be extremely taxing to control his spirit weapon, which in turn would allow Savage the chance to draw close and attack. Liu Feng was after all a controller, a long-ranged fighter and not proficient at close combat. Incredible movement. Liu Feng worked hard to dodge time and again, it was extremely dangerous. Luckily relying on the comprehension of the gold origin laws, using the soaring shuttle had gotten much easier and his speed and flexibility had improved much more than before. This Liu Feng is really quick at fleeing. Savage started to feel nervous. Normally I'm able to immediately close in and kill a controller. However dot this Liu Feng's board spirit weapon is extremely nimble and flexible, dodging me every time. Dot. The spectators in the arena, all one billion of them were all stunned by this scene. These two, one strong and brutal. Even though he was charging head first, his movements were very peculiar almost like an invincible war god as he chased down Liu Feng time and again. The other was like an exceptional master, floating and dodging time and again against the opponent, making him unable to attack, at the same time controlling the spirit weapon to attack over and over. It was two completely different styles of fighting. One was a brutal fighter, while, 
the other was a long-ranged attacker. Savage is too strong. If this madman slows down even just a little, just one slice would probably finish him. This madman is really strong. Every time he clashes against that attack, that savage's body will definitely feel the tremors. In fact, he may even be already injured. If this goes on, savage will definitely lose. Dot. Whether it was the one billion spectators in the arena or the countless people in the countless galaxies watching the broadcast all over, it did not matter what they deduced and concluded. Liu Feng and Rong Jun in the arena knew best about the predicament of their opponent. Lightning fast attacks were exchanged over and over. This carried on for a minute before stopping. Savage stood in the arena and stared at the distant Liu Feng. Liu Feng too had stopped not continuing his attack, my hand. Savage creased his eyebrows, feeling soreness in his entire right arm. The area between the thumb and the index finger had already ripped apart. Matching force with force time and again, every attack was extremely terrifying. If it were a normal genius, just one clash would have broken his entire arm. During the previous matches, when Liu Feng used the golden blade, with just one attack, he had broken the opponent's entire arm. As one of the nine godly weapons, using the Nanshan armament while combining origin laws and attacking, just how terrifying was that power? And Savage was well known for his brutality as well. Every slash he threw had cut right through every opponent. Two incredibly strong forces had clashed head on, continuously for about ten times. I can't go on like this. If this goes on, my right arm will become useless. Savage stared hard at Liu Feng. I have to bear the brunt of every clash. Yet, he's just a spirit reader. The clashes don't even affect his body at all. I'm definitely losing out. In midair, dressed in dark grey armor, Liu Feng was shocked. Even after ten continuous clashes, he's actually completely fine. Using the Nanshan armament and going full force eats up a lot of my spirit energy. These ten attacks have used up more than half of my spirit energy. If this happened in reality, everything could be provided for with his core. He didn't have to worry about his spirit energy running out at all. However in the virtual universe world, his body was designed according to the virtual universe's standard. Every person's body and spirit energy was the same. Even though he could recover his spirit energy naturally every second. Dot this speed and level of recovery of a star level 9 paled by far in comparison to the golden horned beast's core. He had met with a difficulty. Savage's right hand was injured. He couldn't carry on meeting force with force either. Luo Feng's had less than half of his spirit energy left. He didn't dare keep dragging this on. What to do? Baited breaths. The entire arena went silent as two of them held their breath and stared at each other from afar. Even the one billion spectators were silent as they watched. And the Gandwu universe country, the trillions of universe humans watching this pinnacle fight broadcast were all incomparably nervous and waiting in anticipation. Dot. Virtual universe, Gandwu continent. The largest construct in one of the buildings on a floating island above. Within that construct was a large hall. The entire floor surface of that hall was made of a dark greenish black peculiar looking crystal stone. On it were 64 slashes, which gave off a flicker that enticed people's souls. It made the entire hall give off a natural and yet a dream like peculiar aura. Countless thrones were separated in there dispersed in an orderly fashion. In front of the big hall was a large screen. On it was the broadcast of Liu Feng and Rong Jin's battle. Virtual Universe Company actually placed both of them on the 0001 island. These two punks, their strengths are really not bad. However, they still can't be considered as the top of our Ganwu Universe country's level. This little bit of strength can't make it to the top 10. However the top 100 or so, that's more like it. Blurry and scattered throughout the thrones were a bunch of men and women. Some tall while others tiny, some old and some young. The one thing they had in common was that their auras were all incomparably strong. Some blazing while others ice cold. This group of people with their incredible lifespans held the top positions within the Ganwu universe country, sat together and discussed. 
not interesting, I still thought there'd be some surprise, same level as the previous years, just average, this group of great existences talked very casually, within the arena, Luo Feng and Savage had been silent for a total of 20 seconds, finally breaking the stalemate, as the arena duels at most lasted 5 minutes. The longer time dragged on dot the space would shrink more to the point where Liu Feng who needed to dodge constantly would be at a disadvantage. Under the continuous attack from the Nanshan armament, you can still block. Liu Feng's eyes gleamed with madness, I respect you, hence. Liu Feng raised both his arms and pointed at Savage. Wang, a golden light shot out from behind Liu Feng's back from the dark golden long rod swiftly forming in mid-air, this scene caused everyone in the arena and everyone watching the broadcast, even the group of great undying to stare with their eyes gleaming, what, Savage's face could barely contain his shock, second golden blade, right, in front of Liu Feng was a floating golden blade which had formed early on in the match, yet, right now in mid-air, a second blade was taking shape, form, Liu Feng grit his teeth, his expression was grim, as his consciousness had split, having to use his full strength to control both golden blades, Nan Shin armament, also known as the nine level Han Tan Yan, had a total of nine levels to unleash, the first level was golden blade, the second level was the sky piercing form, the first level itself was the easiest, even the main lords who didn't understand the origin laws could use their strong spirit energy to form it, of course dot when one's spirit energy wasn't as strong, they had to rely on sufficient willpower and law origin comprehension to form it, the first form, during the elimination stage, Liuo Feng was already barely able to form it in reality. The second form, sky piercing form, was hundreds to thousands of times harder. The sky piercing form required unleashing nine golden blades and later combining these together dot forming a golden true blade. Different from the illusionary form of the first level dot as it condenses the energy and forms a one inch long golden true blade. This golden true blade's power was extremely immense. At this time, it had the right to be called sky piercing dot. Hence, Liuo Feng had been trying from early on to bring out two golden blades, after all dot only through unleashing nine golden blades did they actually gain enough power to condense and become reality, making the sky piercing form, in reality, I'm only a star level 7 spirit reader, my spirit energy strength isn't strong enough, and I'm unable to unleash two blades, however, in the virtual universe, my spirit energy is star level 9, much stronger than in reality, my spirit energy is much stronger than reality, I have a higher guarantee of unleashing it. From the elimination till now, over two months had already passed, during which time I've been training rigorously. Even before this arena duel, I already had a guarantee of unleashing two blades. Luo Feng looked at Savage, roaring loudly. Savage, receive this, rumble, rumble, the two golden blades, one on the left and one on the right, became two golden rainbows and rushed straight towards Savage, chapter 415, one standing while another lays, Luo Feng, Luo Feng, all the spectators on sight, along with the countless humans from the hundreds of millions of galaxies all cheered excitedly, there were many articles and details regarding Liuo Feng and Rong Jun which had been shared previously with many experts to analyze both their strengths, naturally the Nan Shin armament was discussed as well, hence, many of the audience knew of how hard it was to unleash the Nan Shin armament, Liuo Feng unleashing just one golden sword was already enough to make him invincible, yet, Right now he had actually simultaneously unleashed two golden swords, it was simply, too intrepid. Ah, Savage let out a low roar while taking a big step and closing a distance of one kilometer with just that step, rumble, rumble, supporting the energy wave, two golden rainbows shot out, break away. Savage had a struggling expression while slashing as fast as lightning at the golden rainbows, dang, at the instant of the clash. The direction of the his blade slightly changed. At the same time Savage immediately turned and used the shockwave from the impact to add on to his rotation. Dang. Blocking even the second golden rainbow. 
Kai, fresh blood was spit out. Savage took two steps back as his expression paled. Regardless, his eyes were still burning with a stronger than ever battle spirit, shouting, Liu Feng, the two golden blades are indeed very powerful. However, dot you having to disperse your energy evenly to control both of them? The power of each of these blades is only about 90% or so compared to the previous one. Even with 90% power with the both of them combined, to be able to block it even once, I consider you powerful. Let's see how many more times you can block it. In midair from a distance, Liu Feng squinted while shouting back, Come again. Ha ha dot ha ha ha. Savage suddenly laughed loudly. At the same time he violently threw the blade in his hand. Ksu. The blade became a blurred image, almost like a secret weapon shooting towards Liu Feng. Liu Feng creased his eyebrows. In midair the golden rainbow became an arc and blocked the blade. Dang. That blade was knocked away and landed far away on the ground within the arena. What's he up to? The entire arena was noisy. A fighter throwing away his weapon? It was like a fighter cutting off his own arm. He must be insane. What's the matter? Why did he throw away his weapon? This savage has admitted defeat. That madman Liu Feng from the Black Dragon Mountain Starfield. Ever since he took out two golden blades. That savage knew he couldn't win. Hence, he admitted defeat. That's not strange at all. Not even fighting it out and admitting defeat. The spectators were in an uproar of discussions. Within the arena however, the two of them were silent. Floating in midair, Liu Feng creased his eyebrows, coldly looking at Savage on the ground. Even though they hadn't met for too long, just from the simple exchanges of words and willpower, Liu Feng was very sure. The savage before him had absolute confidence in himself. Even if he was about to lose, he would still fight it out till the end and never admitting defeat. Liu Feng, standing in the arena, savage stood though with blood still on his mouth. His eyes, however, were gleaming and he laughed loudly. I never once cared about the internal selection with the Gandwu universe country. What I expect of myself is to at least enter the top 1000 in the entire universe. Having said that, my true aim dot is to be number one in the entire universe. Liu Feng was shocked. The one billion spectators were all shocked. Even the countless humans watching the broadcast were shocked. At this moment, the entire Gandwu universe country's countless humans were all stunned. Entire universe is number one? His baseline is to enter the universe top 1000. That was a place where countless geniuses from many universe countries fought to enter. On average, there wasn't even one per universe country. He actually dared to say that his baseline was to enter the top 1000 and his true goal was to be the number one in the entire universe. This was no simple arrogance. It was simply madness. Within the arena, you, Liu Feng couldn't help but be shocked too. On the ground, Savage flipped his hand and brandished a new battle knife. This was a huge, pure black battle knife. Compared to the one before, this new knife was twice as large. I never expected that, to gain a slot in the Ganwu universe country. I'd be forced to take out this earth-splitting blade. Savage's entire energy had changed. With the huge knife in his hand, Savage suddenly seemed to become like a wild war god, causing Liu Feng who was in midair to shout out, Whatever tricks you may have, take them out and then we'll speak. Rumble, rumble. The two golden rainbows pierced straight towards him. Ha ha. Savage laughed loudly. Weng. In an instant, there were suddenly two savages in the arena. The two silhouettes rushed towards Liu Feng with terrifying speed. What? Liu Feng who was controlling the two golden rainbows was extremely shocked. A spirit reader controller's greatest fear was being unable to pinpoint the target. Among these two savages, one of them must be fake. However dot with my spirit energy scan. Both of them seem to be real. How can that be possible? Creating a phantom image was extremely simple. In truth, if normal people of Earth with their visual abilities were to watch Liu Feng's level of warrior, with their shocking speed, they would often see after images, almost as though there was another silhouette of the same person present. And in truth, no matter how fast one moved, it would still only be one person. Even with a spirit scan. It was not easy to uncover. Arclight. Arclight. 
Liu Feng roared, shocked within, the golden horned beast's two great techniques, one of which was the absolute space, the first level of absolute space was arc light, the moment it was established, one's movement could cause the space to warp, creating a second body, the second level of absolute space was one thousand forms, the moment it was established, one could even create a 1000 to 10,000 bodies within an area. The third level of absolute space was teleportation. At this point, one would even be invincible amongst the undying. Even Liu Feng's teacher, the master of the Yunmo planet had never reached the point of teleportation. Even among the many generations of golden horned beasts, very very few of them ever made it. This technique was actually a secret technique for the origin laws of space. For those who have some comprehension of the space origin laws, they too could replicate the effect of arc light. When their bodies followed a peculiar arc line and under the influence of extreme speeds, they could create the effect of two bodies. And that instantaneous acceleration in speed dot was extremely shocking too. Virtual universe within that large construct in the floating island above the Ganwu continent. In the huge thrones, all the great undyings were in a seated position. Initially, they didn't seem to really care about the battle, however at this point, space origin law, it's space, and his comprehension is pretty high as well. It doesn't even seem any lower than his comprehension of the ground origin laws. He's actually able to cause the space to warp and create a second body. This punk within our Gandwu universe country, there hasn't been a genius like him in a very long time. Mad. This punk is definitely mad enough. No wonder he dared to say that his baseline was the universe top 1000, while his true aim is to reach number one amongst all ground and space. Comprehension of these two laws at such a level, with his domain reaching level 9. Just who trained and nurtured such an absolute genius? The group of great undying were all shocked, because, for a universe level warrior to step through the gateway of the origin laws, they were already considered outstanding geniuses. However these belong to the galaxy level geniuses, while others like Narbini or Hong, they belong to the category of starfield geniuses. By unleashing one golden blade, Liuo Feng had belonged to the universe country level of genius. However, unleashing two blades dot that was the pinnacle of a universe country level genius. As for savage ground and space comprehension, and such a deep comprehension at that. And this is only a star level punk. He's really close to the peak. He, he belonged to the category of geniuses for the entire universe of humans. And amongst them, he was still at the very peak. Arc light. Liu Feng who had been rigorously studying absolute space, only understood then what was going on with his opponent. Go and die. In midair, Liu Feng pointed at Savage and roared, rumble, rumble. Two golden rainbows respectively shot in two different directions, one at each Savage, one who can be seen with the naked eye, and the other who was picked up with a spirit scan. It seemed like there were two savages. However in truth dot there was only one. Only because he warped the space around him, he created the effect of a mirror image of himself. Ha ha. Savage laughed, seemingly not caring about the two golden rainbows shooting at him, while he still aimed directly at Liu Feng. Break. The distant Liu Feng roared, having been studying absolute space all this while. He was very clear about that first level and its power, and because he was clear of it. Dot Liuo Feng knew that even if he shot out the two golden rainbows, they would be dodged. Hence, the best thing to do was break. The two golden rainbows immediately dispersed into eighteen golden little blades and madly engulfed his surroundings in all directions. Immediately they dispersed and shot out. Immediately two of the little blades that were shot, hit Savage's body. Even though their power was weaker after dispersing, they still affected his movement. Die. Liu Feng surveyed below him. At the same time the two soaring shuttles beside him shot out two beams of golden light, forming two golden swordfishes, dispersing the golden blades and using the swordfish formation. Simultaneous exchange. The two golden swordfish shot towards the savage whose movement had been affected. What? 
Savage was shocked instantly, with my comprehension of the space origin laws and movement, my instantaneous acceleration is shockingly fast. If his golden blades were a bit further away, I would have been able to easily dodge them. Even if there were two or three little blades that got close to him, it wouldn't have meant anything. After all there were a total of 18 little blades. Instead, they completely affected Savage's speed and acceleration, breaking his momentum. Kai, Kai. The two golden fish had already closed the distance. Dang, dang. Savage waved the huge blade before him. It was almost like space itself was being suppressed, as it split the two golden fish. After which, he raised the blade high and sliced it straight at Liu Feng. Go. Savage slashed down, with the combination of the his domain and the space origin laws, he had completely suppressed Liu Feng. Go and die. Liu Feng roared, rumble, rumble. The eighteen little golden blades which were separated at a distance, swiftly formed back into two golden blades behind Savage. During the time Savage slashed at Liu Feng, the two golden rainbows shot towards Savage. Even though he had sensed the danger through his domain, Savage not only didn't bother to dodge it, but instead roared, go and die, Peng. His blade was fast as lightning. Liu Feng gripped his shield. He was feeling as though an entire mountain had come crushing down on him with a huge rumble. At the point, he lost his consciousness, Peng. After Savage's slash, he tried to dodge but he had already missed his chance, Xu Xu, due to inertia, the two golden rainbows continued their motion, one brushed past his body while the other shot right through his chest, creating hole as big as a bowl, his internal organs were all ruptured and fresh blood was spewing from within, boom, Savage landed on the floor as fresh blood was flowing from his chest wound, like a heavily wounded war god. He still stood there and stared at Liu Feng's body, and at that time, the two golden blades once again separated into eighteen little golden blades and dropped, clanging on the floor of the arena. Dang, 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 dang. Continuous clanging could be heard loud and clear, resounding throughout the arena. The one billion spectators were all silent. All of them were watching the two absolute geniuses in the arena. One stood there. The other lay on the ground. Chapter 416, Ranking. Savage stood there silently, looking at Liu Feng's corpse on the ground. Liu Feng. Savage muttered, my earlier plan was to defeat you and then commit suicide. And after go engage in the loser's circle matches. However, your power far exceeded my imagination and what I expected. Without unleashing my full strength, there was no way I could defeat you. Compared to the effects of the long training in the loser's circle, defeating you dot was more important. And with you risking it all, I couldn't defeat and spare you. Savage recapped the scene before, still shaken from it. This Liu Feng's reaction was too quick, according to his expectations. The moment he unleashed his true strength with both ground and space origin laws unleashed, just that instantaneous movement which produced a mirror image would make Liu Feng too shocked and distracted. Even if he used the golden rainbows to attack, Savage could easily dodge it. At this point, he would close their distance immediately and slash at Liu Feng who wouldn't be able to resist and would be heavily damaged, and after that he would withdraw and commit suicide. Everything would have been very simple. However in reality, it didn't go at all like how he had imagined. At the time he unleashed his powers, Liu Feng chose the least fatal attacking path, as the two golden blades that separated into eighteen little blades and revolved around him. These eighteen little blades shot out in all directions together, covering the surrounding space and immediately breaking his formation and movement. Simultaneously, he used two golden fish to attack the battle of these two. In an instant, Liuo Feng controlled these eighteen little blades to swiftly reform the golden blades and attack from behind, returning one move after another. From the time I unleashed my strength till the end of the battle, it wasn't even 0.1 seconds. The dispersed golden blade actually broke my formation, immediately using the soaring shuttle to attack and then using the reformed golden blades again to retaliate and the timing was very precise. If he had hesitated for just a little, allowing me to, to use that space to attack, 
he would have been done for. To be able to think of everything within that short 0.1 seconds, but also execute everything perfectly. Calm and collected. Absolute calm. Savage looked at Liu Feng's body, filled with respect. I could never achieve your level of calmness. Indeed. Liu Feng and his brother Liu Hua, the calmness was engraved deep within their bones. And on earth, Liu Feng had experienced many life or death experiences, especially during the possession of the golden horned beast, he had already thought he would die. These experiences allowed Liu Feng to maintain his calm despite any dangers, and the bloodline of the golden horned beast affected him too as the specialty of the golden horned beast was to slaughter coldly, add on his big and second brother's mental state training. In terms of calmness. Amongst the 100 or so geniuses that stepped through the gateway of the origin laws, Liuo Feng was at the top, actually. All three of them from Earth were exceptional in that sense. In terms of perfect harmony between man and nature and spirit, Liuo Feng couldn't compare to his two older brothers. However the absolute ice-cold calmness, along with the influence of the golden horned beast's bloodline allowed him to measure up to the highest level of ancient studies and training from Earth which were comprehended by Hong and Thunder God. Hong and Thunder God had purely studied the Chinese and Indian cultures to their highest levels. Even though Liu Feng was weaker within, he was still much stronger than any genius within the universe who hasn't trained his mental state at all. That, added on top of the bloodline of the Golden Horned Beast, in terms of calm, he could compare to, to his brothers. Congratulations to Rong Jun. The loud and clear voice resounded throughout the arena, and thanks to Liu Feng. The two of them have delivered such an exciting match to our trillions of people within the Gandwu universe country. This was definitely this time's genius match's most exciting match till now. However, there will always be a victor and a loser. This battle, Rong Jun is the victor. Rong Jun also receives the slot in our Gandwu universe name list. He has the right to represent the Gandwu universe country and competing against the geniuses from the other universe countries. Let us anticipate. The matches Rong Jun will be fighting in with the other geniuses from all over the universe, eventually grabbing even more honor. Rumble. The one billion spectators erupted in cheers. Some cheering for Savage Rong Jun while others still cheered for Madman Liu Feng. This match was definitely a lot more exciting than a lot had expected. When Liu Feng's strength was unleashed, many actually expected Liu Feng to be the victor. Who would have expected Rong Jun to be so sick, to be able to actually produce a mirror image and finally that final slash was even more brutal. Liu Feng was dead, while Rong Jun was heavily injured. Virtual Universe Gandwu continent, within a large palace, within one of the large palaces, close to 1000 youths were gathered all of them were looking up at the screen and on it was the battle between Liu Feng and Rong Jun which had just ended. Amongst you all, some have already acquired a slot in the name list, some are about to participate in their fourth match. Below the screen, a tall and sturdy, green horned single eyed man roared softly. You are our Gandwu universe country's most exceptional of this generation, many of you think you are really something. Look at this, look at these two. All of you look carefully. Finishing up, the green horned single eyed man walked out of the palace. Within the palace, a group of youths, men and women, all had complex expressions, pained expressions. Stronger than me, both of them are stronger than me. A handsome cat-eared youth shook his head. That madman, those two golden blades of his. I wouldn't be able to block it. Too strong. To actually be able to unleash two golden blades, I can barely even manage one. These two. That Liu Feng, I still have confidence to beat him. But that Rong Jun, according to teacher's assessment, he has a comprehension of the origin laws, and that movement, that slash. An at least eight meters tall and sturdy wild giant youth muttered softly, shaking his head. Ganwu continent, floating island, within that huge construct, the blurry images of the thrones, the great and eternal undying, were all discussing the battle. How long has it been, in the history of our Ganwu universe country genius duels, 
Since such a level of battle was held prior to more than 300 genius competitions, back then the Iron Head General was a star level 7, only his battle could match up to this, right? Over 300 genius competitions before, in the blink of an eye, close to 2 million years have passed, ha ha, my match back then could barely compare to this one. 1.89 million years have passed since then and I've already become an undying, however back then my opponent wasn't weaker than me, it was a pity that when he became a domain lord, he went to the battlefield outside the starfield and died. A resounding voice infused with a metallic feeling boomed. The path of an undying, is incomparably difficult, amidst the way, it's filled with dangers. The number of geniuses that have fallen along the way is already countless. The fallen geniuses, many of them can only be deemed geniuses within a galaxy or a star field. And geniuses like Liu Feng and Rong Jun, these two punks. This level of absolute geniuses, the chances of their death are much lower. True, if it were in the Ganwu secret area, these pinnacle geniuses would be incomparably respected, lowering their chances of death the most. However, if it were in the virtual universe company. There are too many pinnacle geniuses there. Hence, the competition is intense and the elimination rate is even higher. The number of geniuses who die that compared to our secret area is much, much more. They require only the true absolute strong among the geniuses. This time, this wrong June will definitely rank at the top of our universe country. And becoming the top 1000 in the entire universe wouldn't be a problem either. As for whether he's able to make it as number 1 of the entire universe, I think the chances are extremely low. Instead, if it's top 10, there's still a possibility. Right. Wrong June is definitely the number 1 in our Gandwu universe's geniuses. Liu Feng should be able to rank in the top 10. That Liu Feng punk was very calm, I really like him, that calmness. His chances of dying in the future are very low too. Liu Feng didn't know that this group of undying from the Gandwu universe were ranking him and Rong Jun by their strengths. He was still thinking of his previous battle. Nimble and flexible. Liu Feng's consciousness returned to reality, within his earth home study. My flexibility still isn't enough a spirit reader controller stepping on a spirit weapon should originally attack from afar. The moment a fighter closes in dot that's just suicide. Liu Feng creased his eyebrows, as long as I'm nimble enough, making that wrong June unable to even touch me, at least I wouldn't be at a disadvantage immediately. Space origin laws. I haven't even touched the door. However the long periods of training in absolute space, my instantaneous movement speed has increased too. Liu Feng thought, when I return, I have to find a flying spirit weapon that suits me best. As for the soaring shuttle dot it's too dispersed, not concentrated enough. Dot. Reflecting on every battle, this was the habit ingrained into every student of the Dojo of Limits. Liu Feng reflected on the battle for over a half hour before entering the Virtual Universe Network. Virtual Universe Network, Black Dragon Mountain Island, 9 Star Bay. 30, you've only returned now, where did you go after the battle? Thunder God stood in the grass patch of Liu Feng's villa. He was waiting there along with an entire group including Zixin and others there. Daddy, Daddy, you were too powerful. Little Hai and Ping Ping rushed over to hug Liu Feng. Big brother, that was a beautiful match. Liu Hua revealed a happy expression, right now the entire Gandwu universe country has been shaken. Countless people are debating about you. You can go into the virtual universe company's page and take a look. Many people are leaving messages. Saying you and Rong Jun definitely belong to our universe country's strongest geniuses. Outside's gone crazy. Xagang nodded and sighed, brother in law, you lost the match, but the entire Black Dragon Mountain Island won an incomparably exciting bustle. Indeed, actually many people from the universe couldn't even understand the little details of the battle between Liu Feng and Rong Jun. However, once the battle ended, 
Rong Jun was already deemed unanimously by a large amount of sector lords and even undyings as Gandwu Universe Country's number one. Not only that, he was also considered to be the strongest out of hundreds of geniuses competitions before. Number one out of hundreds of competitions before? This match was naturally roaring like a raging flame. Rong Jun and Liu Feng's reputation immediately soared. Where's Big Brother? Liu Feng asked curiously, Big Brother and Liu O are in his house. Thunder God pointed at Hong's house, about ten minutes after your battle, the founder of the Three Axe Mountain named the Time Sector Lord Liu O came. Time Sector Lord and Big Brother, Liu Feng couldn't help but feel nervous. Within the living room of Hong's house, the old man with a head full of white sat opposite Hong. You don't regret it? Liu looked at Hong. Following me means you won't be able to return for 20,000 years. Hong nodded lightly. His eyes were calm, without any hesitation. Chapter 417, Three Years of Hellish Training Can you tell me why you've suddenly decided to take me as your teacher even though the deadline hasn't been reached? The Time Sector Lord Liuo looked curiously at the youth from Earth. Does it have anything to do with your third brother's match that just ended? Yes, Hong nodded and sighed, yes, that match made me realize. I didn't expect that in the blink of an eye, my third brother and I had that much of a gap in power. He knew Liu Feng was strong, but he never expected him to be that strong. If I continue on my own isolated ways without the teachings of a teacher, I think. The difference between my third brother and I will keep getting larger. I will get left behind even further. Hong shook his head and laughed. Actually it's not just my third brother, I can feel the stress coming from my second brother too. Ever since he received the inheritance, his strength has been growing at an obviously much faster rate. The time sector Lord Liuo smiled and nodded, it's good you feel the pressure. How about this, you get ready, then take a universe ship to meet up with me. I'll give you a day's time to say your goodbyes with your family, okay? Hong nodded. Not long after the time Sector Lord left, Liuo Feng and Thunder God entered. You are here, sit. Hong pointed at the two seats beside him. Big brother, what's going on? Thunder God stared at Hong, that founder of the Three Axe Mountain, the time Sector Lord. Why did he suddenly come? Didn't he give you ten days worth of time to think about it? There's still another two to three days left. Liuo Feng looked at Hong feeling nervous inside. I looked for teacher myself. Hong said, teacher? Liuo Feng and Thunder God's expression changed. You've really decided to go with the time sector lord? Thunder God said nervously, this will be a trip that's at least 20,000 years. Can you imagine what 20,000 years is? Our China's recorded history and culture is only 5,000 years old. In an instant you'll be leaving for 20,000 years, this dot this is simply. We can still meet in the virtual universe. Hong smiled. It's different. Thunder God shook his head. Liu Feng looked at Hong's expression, saying softly, Big brother, have you decided? Hong looked over and nodded, yes. This trip, you won't be seeing Earth for 20,000 years, won't be seeing my home and you won't be able to smell the air of home for a while. Liu Feng looked at him. Since I've taken this path to reach the pinnacle of strength, what can I not sacrifice? Hong shook his head, my children have long married and I have no attachments. If needed, I can just meet my children in the virtual universe. As for my home, the place that raised me, I'll leave it in my memories. I have to sacrifice some things to gain some. When my wife died and my children married and had their families, the most important thing in my life became martial arts. Wandering the universe, seeing the many weird and peculiar things within, chasing after the pinnacle of life, that's the sort of life I like. Hong's eyes had a glimmer of light, in the vast universe the strong are as numerous as the clouds. My aim is to not just become strong within that universe, but to become one of the most outstanding and strongest. Luo Feng and Thunder God exchanged glances feeling their big brother's absolute confidence and aspirations. To be able to reach a high level in the path of martial arts, one first had to have an absolute level of aspiration, only then will he work towards that dream. Second and third brother. Hong turned to look at both of them, 
laughing, you two should be happy for me. Both of you already have your own inheritance. Can you bear to look at your big brother isolate himself and train alone? Ah! Thunder God was shocked, following which he laughed loudly. Big brother, well said. Thirdy and I both have our inheritance. You go and follow that time sec to Lord. We will then be able to compare dot just which of the three brothers will be stronger next time. Bring it on. Hong laughed too. Big brother and second brother, I'll take the lead for now. Liu Feng laughed. You better be careful and maintain your lead, otherwise your second brother and I may just catch up in the blink of an eye. Hong looked at Liu Feng. Thunder God said too, yes yes yes, thirdy, your big brother and I didn't have a good teacher in the beginning. Now that we have proper guidance, our strength will immediately soar dot and your big brother's comprehension is incredibly high, I don't have to speak much about it. Hence, you better be careful. If you have the skills, come chase after me. Liu Feng laughed loudly. The three brothers of Earth laughed happily. However, unknowingly, the corners of their eyes were a little wet. Dot. Milky Way, Earth, Asia Continent, Hong Ning Base, China Time Year 2066, July 27th, evening about 5 p.m. The sun had yet to set behind the mountains, and the sky was red. A dark blue disc-shaped universe ship was floating in the air above Hong Ning Base. The entire dojo of limits. All the upper echelon along with Hong's family had all gathered. After saying goodbye to his family and friends, this special, ultimate warrior of Earth, finally left alone in that universe ship. Goodbye, ha ha, don't be like that. I'll meet you in the virtual universe. With a laugh, Hong flew into the universe ship. Rumble. The universe ship fiercely accelerated and flew into the sky. Big brother, all the best. Thunder God stood in midair. He couldn't help but shout out. Similarly standing in midair, Liu Feng raised his head to watch the universe ship leave muttering, all the best. On this day, year 2066, July 27th, the ultimate pinnacle of warriors of Earth Hong took the universe ship and left his home. This trip was going to be a very very long one. The day of the fourth round of the genius duels. After the battle between Liu Feng and Rong Jun had ended. That same day all the other matches had ended too. A total of 625 victors were chosen. As for the other 9375 who entered the losers circle, they had three days of rest before they had to begin a high density, tedious round of fights. Every one of them had to battle 9374 times just to get a slot in the remaining 275 of the name list. Dot. Earth. Jiangnan Base, Yangzhou City, Big Brother is gone. Liu Feng sat on the balcony of his castle. He was lying alone there, lifting a cup of tea, he's gone with that time sector lord to wander the universe. In his mind, he reminisced about every scene from the past clearly. In his ears he could still clearly hear the laughter the three of them shared yesterday along with their vows. In a few thousand years, even tens of thousands of years, we three brothers will compete again, right? We'll compete, we'll compete, who's afraid? This was the vow of the brothers, whether it was Hong, Thunder God or Liu Feng, they all walked this path to reach the pinnacle of life itself, and this path was filled with twists and dangers, one could fall easily if he was careless, Peng. Liu Feng put down down the cup his eyes gleaming, big brother, you work hard and I won't relax either, Babata. Enter the virtual universe. Liu Feng split a thread of his consciousness to enter the virtual universe. In terms of consciousness strength. The universe level golden horned beast's consciousness level was completely capable of splitting apart to maintain consciousness in reality while the other part was in the virtual universe. Virtual universe, within the slaughterhouse slaughter space. This was a vast space. Liu Feng stood in space. Wahaha. The demon Babata jumped about and shouted, Liu Feng, the arena duel just ended. You have three days of rest, it's only the first day and you've already entered the slaughterhouse, so hard working. Speak, what kind of opponent do you want me to set up for you? Haha, <laughs> I love training you the most. I want a spirit weapon. 
Liu Feng emphasized, a spirit weapon specialized just for flying, it should also be good for twisting about in small spaces. Since the battle with Savage Rong Jun, he had obviously felt his own flexibility and speed was insufficient in the face of the opponent's speed. Ah, you found the weakness? Babata rubbed his chin with his small hand, floating above, he looked at Liu Feng, Liu Feng, are you looking for a long term or short term effect? Long term, and short term? Liu Feng creased his eyebrows, the little demon nodded, right, short term, is to increase your nimbleness as much as possible in a short amount of time, requiring only 10 days to half a month. As for long term dots that would mean working from the basics one step at a time, at the same time, picking a spirit weapon that would accompany you for a very very long time. Long term. Liu Feng emphasized, I don't lack time, very well, the little demon pointed his finger and raised his head, your choice is very wise, then I'll pick a flying spirit weapon for you, the most suitable for golden space origin laws would be a level 5 spirit weapon. The dark cloud shuttle. The little demon smiled, of course during the beginning, you'll probably not even be able to match up to the soaring shuttle's efficiency, however there's no rush, I will train you well. How long do you think it'll take for my speed and flexibility to increase greatly? Liu Feng asked, depends on your comprehension, the little demon said. The higher you comprehension, the comprehension of the origin laws will be faster too. With my sequence of training, I estimate you'll qualify in a year. If your comprehension is poor and you don't work hard enough, even a hundred years won't be sufficient. A sequence of training? Liu Feng creased his eyebrows, he he. The little demon curled his lips and smiled, slowly. What we have is time, I will train you well. From the year 2066, July 30th, the losers circle matches began, in terms of density in truth, one had to battle ten times in a day, with Liu Feng's speed. He was able to finish a match in one minute. Hence, every duel may be taxing for his opponents. However for Liu Feng, he was completely relaxed. After all, he was ranked among the top 10 of the Ganwu Universe Country Geniuses. As for this loser's circle, including him, there were a total of 49 others who had stepped through the gateway of the origin laws, and of which, only two were capable of matching up to Liu Feng. Hence, the loser's circle matches were very easy. In fact they became the grounds for Liu Feng to test his battle strategies. Within the slaughterhouse, it was a large grass patch and on it was a blur of countless bloodbirds covering the skies and flying towards Liu Feng. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Don't even touch them. Damn, faster. You have to be fast. This test, there's a possibility of scoring a 100%. The little demon roared, and Liu Feng stood on the black peculiar shuttle spirit weapon. This dark cloud shuttle naturally extended black skin that wrapped about Liu Feng's boots. Liu Feng's entire being had already become a blurry image, dodging constantly under the attacks of the countless blood birds. Kai, Kai, Kai. As soon as he was hit by one bird, he was subsequently hit by others. When he was hit by three of them, rumble, all the blood birds vanished. You failed again. The little demon stared at Liu Feng with his red eyes, roaring angrily, continue your basics training. I have never seen you so stupid. With a wave of his hand dot immediately the surrounding grass patch vanished, and became a large machinery factory, within it were many complex apparatus. Begin, the little demon roared. Liu Feng remained calm all the while. Babata's words didn't seem to affect him at all. Under Babata's constructed hell training, Liu Feng instead seemed to become even crazier. The little demon's words too slowly changed from the initial stupid, to average, to very weak, and finally, still passable. And the golden horned beast was spending all its energy on the deities of the world and absolute space along with the training of the gold origin laws. This way, time passed, the loser's circle duels didn't take much of Liu Feng's energy. In fact, they became a place to test his strengths. Babata's hell training however was something that took up all his energy every day. Chapter 418. The Madman of Three Years Later. Time passed, 
even the great beings who had completely grasped the time origin laws, may be able to shortly stop or reverse time. However, the universe itself had automatic recovery abilities, even the most powerful beings were unable to strongly warp or affect the universe's flow. The broadcast of the Losers Circle duels were like a television series, being broadcasted non-stop. After all there were over 9,000 participants. It was hard to avoid special situations where the battle times had to extend or delay a few days. China Year 2069, March 2nd, the final day of the duels. Virtual Universe, floating island above the Ganwu continent, in a luxurious living room of a large construct. Dressed in a simple white robe, an old man stood the while politely bowing, sword deity. Beside him was an intrepid man dressed in golden armor. His face was filled with gold scales and on his forehead was a curve, like an arc blade golden horn. His entire being was like a ground and sky splitting golden battle blade. Even in the virtual universe, that powerful consciousness and pressure from it was enough to make even a universe level warrior's consciousness crumble. If it were Liu Feng who saw this person, he would be shocked. Someone who looks so much like Bei Kalo, only that his green scales have turned gold. This is the Liuo Feng you speak of. The golden armored man looked at the screen. On the screen was a broadcast of a match that was about to happen. Yes, today is the last day of the duels, and this battle should be the last day's most exciting one. The old man dressed in a simple white robe smiled. Ah, if you are introducing him. You think dot this punk has the right to enter the universe top 1000? The golden armored man asked, sword deity, you'll know the moment you watch it. The white robed man said, on the screen, dressed in a dark gray armor carrying the dark golden long rod, Liuo Feng was facing a dual blade wielding dwarf youth, rumble. The dwarf youth turned into a bolt of lightning and rushed forward, immediately reaching close to Liuo Feng. However, with a puffed sound, the expressionless Liu Feng on the dark cloud shuttle who had golden energy wrapped about him, immediately became a golden light and easily escaped. Go, rumble. A golden blade appeared in midair amidst the golden energies, swiftly emanating about. It immediately attacked that dwarf youth. The dwarf youth roared, as a green energy was emanating from his body and the two blades were brandished almost as though his entire body had become a huge wave to receive the blows of the golden rainbow. Kai. Just as the golden rainbow drew close, it actually did a perfect S-shaped arc and brushed past the side of the blades, immediately slicing through the opponent's head. Luo Feng, victory. Dot. Within the living room, what do you think? The simple dressed old man smiled. Not bad, not bad at all. The golden armored man nodded, this little punk already has a grasp of the spirit reader controller's essence. His level 5 spirit weapon dark cloud shuttle, its use is actually relaxed and perfect. And his instantaneous dodging ability is extremely fast, and obviously relaxed. That Nanshin armament, when infused with the golden origin laws and unleashed together, it is as strong and piercing as the sun. Normally. The users have difficulty changing its direction. However he actually managed to, in short distance, doing an S-shaped complex maneuver while relaxed. He's already made great progress with the first form. His basics are exceptional. The golden armored man nodded, following which he creased his eyebrows. However, from my estimate, with this amount of strength, he should at most make it into the ranges of 3000 to 5000 of the entire universe, 1008 universe countries, a million absolute geniuses gathered to make it into the top 1000 was too difficult. Haha. <laughs> Watch this one. The white robed old man pointed at the screen, swiftly picking out the battle of Liuo Feng and Rong Jun from that year. Rong Jun, I've heard of him. I heard he's your Gandwu universe country's most outstanding youth. The golden armored man looked until the end and said softly, this wrong June is indeed strong. However, for him to get the number one spot with his level of strength, there's no possibility at all. Although, making it into the top ten of the universe, there's still some chance in that. No chance at all? 
The white-robed old man was shocked greatly. In this genius battle, there's a super genius. The golden armored man couldn't help but exclaim, even more powerful than the number one genius is from previous competitions. His space origin laws comprehension exceeds a large amount of sector lords. Ah? The white-robed old man was shocked. As for Liu Feng, I know why you've shown me this footage. The golden armored man exclaimed, the most shocking thing is, when he competed with Rong Jun. His flying and dodging speed back then was obviously taxing, the control was rough, purely relying on spirit energy to control the directions. Compared to that, having taken a look at that broadcast, his control of the Dark Cloud Shuttle is already very perfect. The control of the Nanshan Armament 2. His improvement is very shocking. His comprehension of the origin laws has risen quite a bit too. Right. How long does your Gandwu Universe country's internal selection, the loser's circle matches last? The Golden Armored Man asked. Not even three years. The white-robed old man replied. Not even three years. The golden armored man couldn't help but say, this Liu Feng, was he hiding his power during his battle with Rong Jun? No, through his 9374 matches, in every battle, his improvement was very obvious. The white robed old man exclaimed, before these matches, he was at most the top 10 of our universe country. And now, with less than 3 years passing, Probably only Rong Jun is his match. Many of the undying in our Gan Wu secret area are all watching him. His improvement speed dot is too shocking. And in the losers circle duels, his opponents aren't strong. Hence, they haven't been able to force him to use his true strength. I even suspect dot his true strength is even greater than what he's been displaying. The white robed old man said, and from right now to the final duels, there's still quite a bit of time he can continue to improve. The golden armored man curled his lips and smiled, if he continues to improve, up to the pinnacle duels of the geniuses from the 1008 universe countries, he may actually make it into the top 1000. However, it's still hard to say. When the two undyings from the Ganwu secret area and the virtual universe company were discussing Liu Feng, Liu Feng was in the preparation room of Arena 0001 within the room, that Liu Feng, this Liu Feng, how is his improvement so fast? The teacher from the secret area said that Liu Feng is able to be ranked as the number two genius of our universe country. When the black-haired youth dressed in dark grey armor appeared in the preparation room, it immediately aroused many soft discussions. The duels had lasted a little less than three years. Liu Feng's shocking improvement speed had attracted the attention of many strong warriors. Madman. A strong thick voice resounded. Liu Feng turned to look. It was an almost one story tall savage Rong Jun. His hair was still messy as always and he was still barefooted. Savage. Liu Feng shouted too. Ha ha ha. Savage laughed loudly, a smile too appeared on Liu Feng's face. These two had always addressed each other with their names before. This sudden nickname call dot was also a joke. Liu Feng, your improvement is huge. You haven't relaxed at all in these three years. Savage said very respectfully to Liu Feng. No matter how powerful a genius was, it was mostly his natural talent that was high. If he didn't work hard, he would ultimately still be eliminated. Liu Feng's huge improvement. One could only imagine how hard he worked secretly. I don't dare to relax. Liu Feng shook his head, with you in front, how could I dare? Attention all. Enter the arena. The organizer from the virtual universe company shouted. Immediately the 1000 geniuses followed the pathway into the arena. Today there weren't any spectators. 1000 absolute geniuses from the different galaxies of the Gandwu universe country stood there, looking at the giant before them. Before the 1000 most exceptional geniuses of the Gandwu universe country was a giant who was at least 8 meters tall. Beside him, even Savage would look like a little doll. This giant was wearing a scaled battle robe, and a helmet. His entire being emanated a bloody energy. 
His eyes dot seemed like the death god gazing at the group of geniuses. Bated breaths, one thousand geniuses, they couldn't help but perspire from their foreheads. In the virtual universe, just his aura alone is that terrifying? Luo Feng Tu couldn't help but control his body's nervousness, his forehead naturally perspiring cold sweat as well. Under this pressure, perspiring cold sweat from the forehead was a body's natural defense mechanism. Congratulations to you all. An ice cold voice resounded throughout the arena. You 1000 are our Gandwu universe most exceptional. You all have the right to represent our universe country to compete with the other universe countries and fight it out with their geniuses. However dot these pinnacle duels, the difficulty will be much greater than the battles before. 1008 universe countries, some universe countries have even wider and more vast territories, with many many more galaxies. Because each universe country's situation differs. The internal selection time is different too. Hence, the entire human race. Final genius pinnacle duels dot will only begin a year and a half from now. This one and a half years is your chance to improve yourselves. Luo Feng returned to Black Dragon Mountain Island 9 Star Bay. It finally ended. The losers circle duels have ended. Luo Feng exclaimed. The duels may have ended, however your training still hasn't. On his shoulder, the fist sized little demon shouted, Luo Feng, your Nanshan armament at this moment, at most can only produce five golden blades simultaneously. And it's still very forced, you should rather use three blades. Only by doing so, your current strength will be at its strongest. A person could force himself to lift a 100 kilograms knife. However, his attack may be the strongest by using a 30 kilograms knife instead. One logic. Controlling five golden blades, every blade would become clumsy and awkward. Understood. Liu Feng nodded, following which he laughed, reminiscing these three years, indeed his improvement had shocked many people, in truth, back then when he first joined the elimination, the golden horned beast had just reached the universe level for a little over two years, meaning dot a level 5 domain and stepping into the gold origin laws gateway. These were the fruits of his labor between the years 2064 and 2066. And right now with close to three years passing, it wasn't weird his achievements had increased by a high margin. The nurturing of my second clone is almost done too. Luo Feng anticipated his second clone, the Mo Shaklan's birth. Chapter 419 Violent undercurrent. When the internal selection of the Gandwu universe had just ended, in the distant universe country far from the Gandwu universe country. The barbaric universe country's internal selection was still ongoing. The barbaric universe country got its name for this one reason. The reason being that there were two very fearsome human races there the Manka and the Huangshan races. These two were bloodlines that ranked in the top ten of the humans of the universe. Even without any training, when they reached maturity, they would easily become powerful domain lords. To be able to have a bloodline that reached an evolution of such a stage, the ancestors of the two races naturally had many undying. Although the population of these two races was extremely small, the core of the entire barbaric universe country had a very powerful imperial family. There was once a sector lord who snatched away an infant of the Manka race. As soon as he was discovered, the Manka planet sent out a group of undying to destroy the entire organization that the sector lord was in. Even the two undyings in that organization were killed. As for that sector lord that actually dared to snatch that infant, he was tortured for millions of years until his lifespan reached its end and died tragically. Anyone who dares to touch the infants of the Manka race, will die a horrible death. Anyone who dares touch the infants of the Huangshan race, will also be killed mercilessly. The Manka and Huangshan people regarded a death in battle as the greatest honor. However, should anyone ever snatch their infants and use their bloods, they would have in turn offended the entire race. Dot. The Manka planet, as the home of the Manka people, was covered in an extremely vast god country. Within Manka planet itself was an oval-shaped castle. The guards at the entrance were all universe level. Congratulations your majesty, 
Congratulations. The two sector lords smiled as they looked at a youth casually sitting at a dining table and eating a feast. This Manka youth had the traditionally good looks of the Manka people, dressed in a silver armor, black hair, eating heartily, muttering, What's the to congratulate about? It's just a slot in the name list, utterly simple. The two sector lords exchanged glances and laughed. Your Majesty, the chubbier of the two sector lords smiled and said, the Gandwu Universe Country's internal selection had already ended. Gandwu Universe Country? The Manka youth looked up, creasing his eyebrows. From what I heard, my royal father said that the country leader of the Gandwu Universe Country is very powerful. However, in the past 100 genius competitions, they haven't produced anyone worthy at all. There's one in this competition that you have to pay attention to. The fat sector lord said respectfully. Ah, speak. The manka youth lowered his head and quickly finished the food on the dining table. The two sector lords exchanged glances and laughed. This royal prince had the good qualities of the manka people's tradition, which was that he loved to eat. He loved to battle. He was loud and boorish. However, even though the manka people were loud and boorish, their mental capacity was extremely high. Hence, they were very intelligent, and only because of that they were able to work together with the Huangshan race and govern over the barbaric universe country. Your Majesty! The fat sector lord smiled. The Gandwu universe country has produced an absolute genius, called Rong Jun. His achievements in the ground and space law origins are high. He's already reached a point where he can leave mirror image of himself. Mirror image? The Manka youth shook his head violently. Right. The two sector lords nodded simultaneously. That's troublesome. The Manka youth slapped the table and stood up, leaving a mirror image in space. That's not due to some simple explosion in instantaneous speed. And he even has made progress in the ground origin laws. With the two combined, his attack must be incredibly fierce and powerful, to the point that it would be almost unblockable. Yes. The two sector lords nodded. This Manka youth was the current Manka planet's most exceptional genius of this generation. From young, he had received the guidance of many of the undying. Hence his vision and knowledge was extremely high. Having heard a little of the information, he was able to already imagine the battle styles and strength of his opponents. Of course, even though he was the most exceptional genius, in truth, the number of star-level youths on Manka planet wasn't even 1,000. Your Majesty, according to the information we've gathered and along with our deductions, this youth called Rong Jun has the power to make it into the universe's top 10. Also, from the information, we are able to conclude that he's been hiding his true power all this while. Even during that last battle he may not have used his full strength. The fat sector lord continued. He even said his goal was to become the universe's number one. Top ten. Number one? The Manka youth stared hard, how come they are all so arrogant? Although, their powers are not bad either. There are too many universe countries. However, this group of arrogant punks, they'll all get wiped out by me. The number one position is mine. The two sector lords smiled. The battle spirit of this majesty was definitely sufficient. But this was after all a pinnacle fight between the best of the entire human race. There were geniuses who came with superior bloodlines, while those with weaker bloodlines usually had very large populations. Picking one out of the tens of billions to even trillions, normally they would be even stronger than those picked out of hundreds. Your Majesty, in the Gandwu universe, besides Rong Jun, there's another called Liu Feng. The fat sector lord said, Another one? The Manka youth stared. No. The fat sector lord shook his head. His strength is much weaker than Rong Jun's. However the thing we have to take note of was that compared to three years ago, his rate of improvement is incredible. I guess, he definitely has the chance to make it into the top 1000. He is also extremely calm during battle, he may even kill those stronger than himself. Hence. Your Majesty has to take note of him and not get careless, I say, my fat uncle. The Manka youth was restless, for someone who has the chance to make it into the top 1000, 
Don't talk to me about these sort of people. They are of no challenge or threat to me at all. The top 1000 of the entire universe has no difficulty for me at all. However, from that top 1000, the treatment for their ranks are different. My aim is to take one step at a time to reach heaven, immediately making it into the upper echelon chore of the virtual universe company's primal secret area. Hence I asked you to take note of those that are able to make it to the top 10. As for that person called Liu Feng, don't bother, I'll settle him in one move. The two sector lords exchanged glances and smiled. Then we'll await the day your majesty enters the primal secret area. Within the vast universe, the human race was one of the top pinnacle of races. They took up a great amount of the universe itself. And at this time, the internal selections for the geniuses of the 1008 universe countries, many of which were still going on. There were many that had ended too. The absolute geniuses that were ranked first or second, or any that had any decent ability or stood out as a threat, were all being researched on by the many universe countries. Dot. Gandwu universe country, in a vast space. A giant stood within that space and the space around him was completely warped. It was impossible to even make out his appearance in that space. Wu, I made you stay in the Ganwu secret area to nurture the younger generation. From the entire universe country. You picked out the top hundred million geniuses and trained them in the best place, with the best facilities. However Wu's universe countries most exceptional were separately Rong Jun and Liu Feng. And both are not from the Wu Gan Wu secret area at all. The voice was booming, the surrounding space almost seemed like it was about crumble. The three undying dressed in simply white robes all bowed, cold sweat beading profusely from their foreheads. Do you all still have any use? The thick booming voice was like a huge axe cutting into the souls of these three undying, causing them to go completely pale, kneeling down simultaneously. To be able to be even stronger than those from the Ganwu secret area means that they are both exceptional, especially the Trong Jun. He has the strength to make it to the top 10 of the entire universe. That's a good thing too. I hope he can enter the primal secret area. For the Wugand Wu universe country. That would be extremely beneficial to us in the future. The thick booming voice's rage within was obviously lesser than before. Nurturing these younger generations has wasted a lot of your time. The three of you should go train properly first and raise your own strengths. As for training the younger generation, Wu will arrange for others to take over. The thick booming voice seemed to have no obstruction at all in this space, immediately reaching the ears and souls of the three undyings. Yes, country leader. The three replied simultaneously, go on. Only at this time, did the three undyings let out a sigh of relief and left respectfully. The top 1000 of the Ganwu universe country had 1.5 years of time to rest. Naturally no one actually dared to relax at all. Within this 1.5 years dot whether it was wrong Jun or Luo Feng, or even the others suppressed by these two, and also the genius is nurtured by the imperial family of the Ganwu universe country, they were all training extremely hard. Rong Jun wanted to become the strongest, Liu Feng was even more unwilling to go to battle and lose. As for the geniuses of the Gandwu Universe Country Imperial Family, they were actually beaten by both Liu Feng and Rong Jun who didn't have as good facilities to train in. Naturally they were even more unhappy. They were all working hard. Dot. Lost, Liu Feng you lost again. I still lost. All right. Your three matches with Rong Jun today will end here. In the desert of the slaughterhouse, the little devil Babata waved his hand and immediately the savage Rong Jun who was standing beside vanished. This was the Rong Jun simulated by the slaughterhouse. As for his power, knowledge and experience, these were all based on reality. Liu Feng stood in the desert, creasing his eyebrows. I still lost. Liu Feng, don't be discouraged. Compared to Rong Jun. The main thing is that your origin law comprehension difference is too huge. You've only had comprehension of the gold origin laws, and have even improved quite a bit. But that wrong June, his ground origin law comprehension is not below yours, and his comprehension of the space laws are deep too. 
the absolute difference is too huge. It's not strange at all that you've lost. The little devil Babata said. Luo Feng nodded, for the simulation of an opponent in the slaughterhouse, one could set his experience and knowledge to be very high, because that simulated Rong Jun knew some of Luo Feng's moves, understanding himself and the enemy, making his victories even more clear cut and simple. His defense is too strong. Ground origin laws emphasizes defense. Liu Feng exclaimed, and space origin laws, when fused with his domain, allows his control strength in the area to increase. His defense, even with my three golden blades, I still can't stop him. He was originally very confident. However, just this wrong June had stopped him. Right, Liu Feng. The Moshe clan clone should be coming out in just three days. The little demons said, right. Luo Feng's expression revealed that of anticipation. The Moshe clan was known as the strongest assassination race in the universe. To be able to gain such a title amongst countless races, that was quite a feat. Just the damaged skin of a dead Moshe clan could be sold for such a heavenly price. This Moshe clan being must be incredibly powerful. Chapter 420, Moshe clan clone, Earth, Asian continent, China Yangtze base. Early morning, Liuo Feng stepped on the dark cloud shuttle and became a beam of golden light and immediately vanished into the east horizon. In midair above the east sea, Liuo Feng stood on the dark cloud shuttle and looked east, the red burning sun began to slowly rise out of the horizon. This level 5 spirit weapon is indeed different from a level 3 spirit weapon. Liuo Feng lowered his head to look at the dark cloud shuttle below him. This was bought from the latest Ganwu auction. The Ganwu auction was held once every three years. The first time was at the end of 2065, he spent quite a bit of money during that time. And at the end of 2068, there was another one that was held. During that auction, he was engaged in the loser's circle duels. Hence he specially requested for ten days of rest to attend the auction. The loser's circle duels were able to be rescheduled. As there were over 9,000 people and within those three years of time, special events may happen unexpectedly, hence the timings were more flexible. There should have originally been 100 matches that day. However, back then, he had discussed with his opponents earlier on and they had come to an agreement. It was only due to this that the organizing party agreed to the request and allowed him to attend the Ganwu auction. One dark cloud shuttle and two portions of swelling water fruit had cost me one mixed element. Liuo Feng exclaimed, luckily I still have the money my younger brother invested. During the 2065 auction, because he purchased the Moshe clan skin, the Nanshin armament, and the swelling water fruit, he had only a few hundred billion universe dollars remaining after that. This was not even worth one mixed element. These three years, he hadn't been earning any money. Luckily after the end of the previous auction, his little brother already had over two trillion universe dollars. After the past three years of investment, even though he had lost money past his capital before, he still managed to increase it to a total of six mixed elements. In these three years, his earnings were close to 200% of profits. Usually the higher one goes up the ladder of capital and wealth, the harder it got to have such high turnovers. Even the large organizations like the Universe First Bank or Universe Galaxy Bank's specialized investment departments had invited and consulted his younger brother Liu Hua by working for myself. I get to call all the shots, that's the best. Working for others and going to those departments, I still have to listen to the orders from above. That is just too troublesome, I won't go. This was something he had said to himself before. Stepping on the dark cloud shuttle, standing above the East Sea. The amount of money I have is still not enough. Liu Feng thought, the golden horned beast, the cloud contact vine, even the Moshan clan clone, they will all require a large amount of money to nurture. And even myself, I require money too. From a theoretical point of view the golden horned beast should be considered Liu Feng's main body. However, in his subconscious, 
Liu Feng still thought of his earth body as the main, the golden horned beast is at the universe level right now, I don't even have enough money for the metals it requires to swallow. However, the deities of the world training is simply a bottomless pit. When speaking of the cloud contact vine, the higher up it evolved, the harder it got. Right now the swelling water fruit is very effective. However, as it grows more, the money poured into it would be a bottomless pit too. Back then when Hu Yan Bo made his cloud contact vine reach the undying level, the amount of money spent on it was simply terrifying. As for Mo Shuo clan clone, he still knew very little about it. Luo Feng's earth body, just the Nanshan armament, the dark cloud shuttle and the nutrition cabin had cost a lot of money. And this was only the star level. As his sights and boundaries grew, the cost may become even more terrifying. Luo Feng had already seen a few absolute treasures at the auctions. Just one of these would cost several thousand mixed elements. However, these were treasures that Babata was too lazy to even explain to Liu Feng at the moment. The golden horned beast is at universe level 7. Cloud contact vine is at universe level 6. My body though is still at star level 9. Liu Feng thought, from now on, my own body's training will stop. The golden horned beast's universe level 1 to 3 required 15 years, 4 to 6 required 20 years each a total of 60 years, and the 7th, 8th and 9th level required 120 years each. As for reaching the domain lord level from the universe level, that required 500 years. The entire process of the universe levels was supposed to require close to a 1000 years. From year 2055, while entering the universe level 6 till now 2059 October, it had already been about four years. Using the optimum metal groupings to nurture and let it swallow, its efficiency was raised to 56 times. This was comparable to a total of 224 years. And Liu Feng stepping through from level 7 to 8 required 240 years. Right now it was still at universe level 7. A little more and it could reach the universe level 8. Dot. As for the cloud contact vine, back in the world within a world it was already at universe level 2, and back then it hadn't completely digested the powerful life fruit, plus, it had eaten over a 100 swelling water fruit, with all these and with enough time, it had long grown to universe level 6, the only thing was the jump from level 6 to 7 was quite a bit harder, dot. It's about to be born. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows, rumble. In midair a triangular black universe ship suddenly appeared. Luo Feng entered the ship. The ship began to accelerate into the sky, piercing past the Earth's atmosphere and headed to Mars. Solar system, Mars surface, in a large ravine. The universe ship descended. Within the ship's resting chambers, Luo Feng sat cross-legged, his entire consciousness entering his internal world. Dot. Within his internal world, the entire golden continent was enshrouded in the golden mist, laying flat along the large land. The golden horned beast which was at least ten li long raised its head, its dark golden eyes looking at the oval golden egg in midair. Almost. The golden horned beast's cold eyes had a sense of anticipation. Ka ka ka. The incomparably thin oval shaped golden egg began to crack open, following which it descended down revealing an extremely peculiar black crystal. This crystal had a total of 10,081 surfaces and on each surface was incomparably complex golden engravings. The engravings were completely fused with the crystal. This was the core of the Moshe clan demon. The life crystal appear. A sound resounded throughout the large golden continent. To you, black energies swiftly flowed from the life crystal before condensing together. A naked yellow skinned black short-haired man appeared. It was a naked Liu Feng, who was similar in appearance to Liu Feng's actual self. Mars, sand filled the entire land and surface. Liu Feng who was dressed in a dark red armor, along with Liu Feng dressed in black cloth, were with the enormous mountain-like golden horned beast on the surface. Interesting, interesting. The two Liu Fengs and the golden horned beast exchanged glances. As for the true life core, the core itself was able to immediately appear within the true body, 
on within the golden horned beast's body or even within the Moshe clan's body. Return. The golden horned beast vanished and only the two Luo Fengs remained. Return. The dark red armored Luo Feng vanished. Return. The black clothed Luo Feng vanished too. All three of them entered the internal world leaving behind only a transparent crystal ball in the external world. On its surface were incomparably complex golden engravings, glimmering with gold light. Su, the black-clothed Liuo Feng appeared, leaving the life core alone in the external world is very unsafe. The black-clothed Liuo Feng thought, as for this Moshan clan demon dot change. All that could be seen was the black-clothed Liuo Feng's energy flow seemed to change swiftly becoming the tall and powerful Rong Jun, and later changing into a ten li long golden horned beast. Finally he even changed into a thick and sturdy tree, and back to the black clothed Liuo Feng. Energy life forms are indeed special. Liuo Feng smiled. The Mo Shuo clan were energy life forms. They didn't have a fixed external appearance, they could change it at will. Of course, if they wanted to change into an enormous giant, maintaining their body's defense of at least a universe level 2, the energy usage would be huge. Hence normally they only changed to forms which weren't too big. Moshe clan, named the strongest assassination clan. So it's because of this. Luo Feng could feel the difference and special properties of the Moshe clan's body. It's indeed true that they are favored by space itself. After obtaining the third body, the Moshe clan's body, Liuo Feng naturally grasped the natural abilities and talents of the Moshe clan, its natural secret techniques. Cloning. In life form terms, the Moshe clan, when compared to the humans or golden horned beast, was completely different. At least humans and golden horned beasts were still under the category of flesh and blood life forms. However, the Moshe clan, as an energy life form, it didn't even have a soul. Accurately speaking, dot that life crystal was its soul, and its source of energy. Hence, the Moshe clan weren't afraid of spirit attacks, at the same time they are unable to use any spirit attacks or control any weapons. Hence the Moshe clan dot all walked the path of fighters, and its natural abilities such as cloning allowed the Moshe clan demons to be able to clone the life force and spirit energies of their target. Their own body could transform, and the moment it copied the target's soul energies, even undying beings. Unless they used their spirit energy to enter their bodies and scan, from just the outer appearance or energy, they were completely undetectable. This was no longer just a disguise. It was cloning. Natural technique. Cloning. You'd never expect that your favorite grandison, I have already become one of the Moshe clan. It may seem like an extremely simple ability, however it allowed the Moshe clan to become the most fearsome assassination clan of the entire universe. They were able to transform into every kind of life forms, copying any kinds of life energies. Of course once the target suspected something and used spirit energy to dig and scan, they would be revealed, favored by space itself. So special. Luo Feng felt the energies of the Moshe clan. He could vaguely feel the space about him rippling, but his earth body and the golden horned beast body were both unable to feel this absolute space. Luo Feng fiercely unleashed his technique. Simultaneously, the black crystal with 10,081 surfaces began to slightly revolve. Its complex golden engravings on its surfaces rippled, almost as though it was answering to the universe space. All that could be seen on that sand-filled Mars surface, was the sudden appearance of two Luo Fengs, and gradually another dot three Luo Fengs, four Luo Fengs, five Luo Fengs. Shua. Luo Feng stopped. Too special. This is just marvelous. This Mo Shua clan's movement and flying is so relaxed, it's simply, simply dot too unbelievable. Luo Feng's expression was that of complete shock. I only have very little understanding of absolute space. These years, I've only managed to touch the door of the space origin laws, and did not even consider entering. However even with that little comprehension, using the Moshan clan body to unleash it, my speed is faster and even more unpredictable. I can even feel the ripples in space.
Liu Feng was extremely shocked. Switch. The Moshawk clan body vanished and the dark red armored Liu Feng appeared. The earth body of Liu Feng looked at his surroundings. The peculiar feeling was totally gone and everything felt normal again. This Mars was like Mars from before. The universe was still like the universe, no longer having the special feeling from the universe space ripples like before. Rumble. Liu Feng began his movement. His movement became shockingly fast and unpredictable. However it was just that, it didn't cause the space around to warp or create mirror images. It feels as though the Moshe clan demon in space is like a fish in water. Liu Feng thought. Humans swimming in water, their speed could never compare to their speed of running on land. And a fish's speed hopping on land could never compare to its swimming in water. One theory was that the Moshe clan was naturally one favored by the space origin laws. In the universe space it was like a fish in water. Even if his own comprehension was low, using the body of the Moshe clan would amplify his powers by several times. Sick. Totally sick. Liu Feng couldn't help but exclaim. Do you even have to say that? This is the strongest assassination race. Energy life forms, flesh and blood life forms, automaton life forms, metal life forms, plant life forms etc. Among all sorts of life forms with trillions of races, to be able to gain the reputation of strongest assassins in countless amounts of life forms. Would that be a joke? Babata said, natural ability. Cloning, even though it's only one ability. However, in truth, the amazing thing about the Moshe clan is they are able to feel the ripples of space. They are a natural complement to the space origin laws. By allowing them to unleash any space techniques, the power will increase greatly. Simultaneously, Comprehending the space origin laws will be much easier than compared to humans. Hence any Moshe clan demon, who steps through the space origin laws door. Their movement would be unpredictable and ever changing. They can change to anyone, any form. Because their disguise ability reaches the pinnacle of perfection. Their attack too is extremely strong. After just one attack, they can swiftly dodge far away. The most scary thing is, it's not just one of the clan that's strong, it's all of them. Hence, they are known as the strongest assassins. Babata said, Liu Feng took a deep breath, no wonder dot the damaged piece of skin of the Moshe clan sold for such a high price. The normal changes of the Moshe clan, there were no engravings on the surface. And after being killed, most of them die from their crystals shattering. Their bodies too would disappear, leaving only a damaged crystal. Not even the skin would be left. Only under a special circumstance can one allow the space origin law engravings within the life crystal to appear on the skin. Those were true space origin law engravings, hence the skin was incomparably valuable. However in my genius battle, I can only use the body given to me by the virtual universe to battle. I can't use the Moshe clan body. Liu Feng thought, right now it's October, there was less than a year to the final battle with the 1008 universe countries, what you can do now is to use the Moshan clan clone to take the form of the golden horned beast and go research on absolute space. Babati said, the training process of absolute space is only suitable for the golden horned beast form to unleash, of course. Any training on comprehension of the space laws will have benefits to all bodies. After all you are all one consciousness. Liu Feng nodded, not even a year. Liu Feng took a deep breath. Right, Babata, I should use the Moshe clan body dot to go retrieve the third bank account left behind by my teacher. The Yun Mo planet master left three separate accounts. They were separated for when the disciple was star level universe level and finally domain lord level to retrieve the funds. Please subscribe to my channel. Audio novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. Thank you.